After what seemed like a never-ending week of emails, meetings, and the daily grind, I needed some trail therapy. I needed more dirt, more distance. Hey, welcome to the channel, More Dirt, More Distance. Today I'm getting ready to check out the Chihuahua Gulch Trail in the Keystone area. And there's two reasons why I picked this trail. One, amazing views. Two, it is short. It's been a long week and I definitely need some trail therapy. But the idea of spending two or three hours going to the trailhead, five or six on the trail, two or three coming back, just seems exhausting. I want something that I can do in the afternoon, not to worry about getting up super early or getting home super late, and this trail is supposed to be that. And as an extra bonus, I'm going to take US 6 over Loveland Pass, and the views there are supposed to be breathtaking. Growing up in Colorado, and I've never been on Loveland Pass for whatever reason, so I'm looking forward to doing that and showing you guys the trail. Driving down I-70, it occurred to me why I'd never gone over Loveland Pass. Before I got started off-roading, I wasn't a fan of driving on roads with steep drop-offs and very few guardrails. After a year of willing, I've driven on enough shelf roads. That Loveland is no big deal, but it still got my heart pumping a little. The weather can change so quickly at these elevations. The rain clouds moved in fast, soaking all the cyclists and hikers. I waited out the rain in the comfort of the Gladiator. The view didn't disappoint, just wish I had more time for a quick hike, but I wanted to hit the trail ASAP. About to start the Chihuahua Gulch Trail, we're about two miles from the actual start of the trail. Uh, but this is a great place to air down and disconnect your sway bars and anything else you need to do. There's a lot of space, it's nice flat ground, it's kind of a good staging area. And we'll go out there and hit this trail and see what it's like. The first mile of the trail is rocky and rutted as I made the climb to the gulch. It is also a popular trail for hikers. There are more hikers on the trails than vehicles. The closer I got to the top, the more I understood why it was so popular. After navigating off camber ruts and rocks for about a mile, the trail opens up to incredible views of the rocky peaks. What I didn't know was the landscape ahead would put these views to shame. There are a few more rocky areas, but the trail is beginning to flatten out as I near the gulch. All the water in the area has made it so green, but the mosquitoes are also getting bigger and aggressive by this point in the trail. An unexpected benefit of the best top Sunrider, easy drone launching. When I say I need trail therapy, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The sound of the creek running over the rocks and through the vegetation. The cool refreshing air flowing through the gladiator, topped off by amazing views, pure relaxation. Past the guy working on a landscape painting, 
This place is truly inspiring, and as great as the views are ahead, the inspiring views are behind me, looking down the gulch, along the creek, and across to the mountains. Vehicle access to the trail ends at the 2.1 mile mark, but if you fill up to it, you can continue on foot for 1.8 miles to Chihuahua Lake. Made it to the end of the Chihuahua Gulch Trail. It is a nice, easy trail that you can do in the morning or in the afternoon, just two miles, so it's not too bad. Uh, it is rocky when you're making the climb, but a stock Jeep could do it. Uh, I saw some Forerunners, um, uh, a couple of Tacomas, uh, so a stock four by four with a high clearance uh, can do it, even though some of the boulders are getting a little high. Uh, some muddy sections, but not too bad. So it's a nice, beautiful area. The views of the gulch are amazing and a nice quick trail. <laughs>